Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 456. 456. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. The holiday season is close to wrapping up. Where It really moves quickly. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to in the new year. And especially at Disneyland. So that's... 100 years. 100 years of, I'm trying to think, wonder, right? Um, it's actually called Disney 100. Yes, uh, Disney we'll, 100. We'll kick off on January 27th, but there's also like um, Mickey's Toontown will be opening in 2023. Uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. They're going to have new fireworks, new, um, your new parade, World of Color. Your parade is back. It's, it, and Magic Happens is coming back. Not everything's on the same date, but check out Disneyland because I think, you know, in the coming months, that's a, that is a kind of the place to be. And I think we may be checking it out in person. We may be doing that, yes. Visit MEI and Mouse Fan Travel online for a no obligation quote. And speaking of Disneyland, the first part of our show is going to be all about Disneyland for the holidays. And this is a show that you sing all the time here at home. Mickey's Happy, Happy Holidays. holidays. <laughs> and I'll be coming into your office and you'll be singing that for no reason. No, I only every so often, you know, I, I love it. I love the song. Um, Disneyland is a phenomenal place for the holiday season. We did not get there this year, unfortunately, but a friend of ours uh, was there. He actually does um, reporter, you know, he goes to different places like Knott's and uh, Universal and such for us. Um, but he just happened to be here and he got a lot of really fun great, stuff fun, for us. Really uh -huh. great footage. And I, and I kind of feel like I was there because we've done this many times. So I know exactly what it's like. Anyway, the Mickey's. Happy Holidays. This year, it appears that it is a cavalcade. I remember a number of years ago, they used to actually stop and do a little show stop. But I think this year, it's strictly the cavalcade out there. Well, the, I mean, this almost looks like a show stop right here. They're in one place. No, but it was a like a lengthy like a, a lengthy stop, if you remember. We have videos of it. Okay. I, and I don't remember that at the moment, but um, I, do en I do enjoy this as a Scrum! cavalcade. No. She's, there she yeah, is. She's you can never get that. away for Clarabelle. And you can see, I mean, they all have these terrific uh, costumes, which is, uh, these aren't costumes you're going to see like at Disneyland. Uh, you're in Disney California Adventure here. It's part of the cavalcade. I think Clarabelle meets possibly in that costume. Yeah, I have seen that. I have seen that, yes. So, the and Eva of Dairy. The Mr. Incredible there didn't go to too much work. He just got a little <laughs> hat. And, uh, you know, so it's really fun to see. I to love see. to see the Pixar characters dressed for for the holidays, though. I really do. I think that they're even more special. Look at Frozone there with his blue Christmas hat. I love it. And right now, seeing Carthay Circle, it reminds me I need to check for restaurants for our trip. So, There's probably nothing oh, available. Oh, yes, that but. is true. That is true. So now another one, of Aviva Navidad, another one of our favorite uh, elements here at Disneyland for the holidays, Disney California Adventure in this case. Right, uh, Viva Navidad does play during the day, but also into the evening. So it, it really has a, a different look to it. And really, it's just, it's a street party. Um, I don't want to say just, it's not just a street party. It is a street party. And you have uh, the three Cavalieros here. And also Mickey and Minnie are in it. And just fantastic dancers and uh, musicians. And it's just very fun. You know, the first time we ever saw those uh, bikes, those bicycles mm -hmm. that uh, have the characters on them was during this show. And now they're used at Disneyland Paris all the time. We always see it. You'll see that uh, shortly. You'll see Mickey and Minnie come in. on Here they are on these little bikes. But you remember now, you yes. know, you see them quite often at Disneyland Paris. But this was the first time I had ever seen this, uh, this being done. I honestly never really thought of, you know, I never thought about it that way mm -hmm. so yeah i mean disneyland paris they had that halloween time even. oh yeah the the cycle the what, what are they i don't it? remember but yes they, the cycle, <laughs> cycle gang, or gang or something <laughs> i remember that they have more of those cycles there yeah but anyway this is such a wonderful show i would always recommend absolutely getting there early because it fills up there are big big fans of this show and especially at night as you mentioned before it's uh, it's even more beautiful with all the different lighting mm -hmm. and now they even have little projections on the, on some of this stuff you know lighting projection so it's just a it's a really fun show and i love it very much and of course you have like the floats and such too so it really is just um you know and you've got like the santa and mrs claus Snow, of fun, course. Uh, you know, just a, a fun show. And I'm kind of sorry you missed it this year, although I also wanted to go to Disneyland Paris because I love to see the different 
holiday seasons everywhere. And we, speaking of Disneyland Paris, we'll be doing that probably next week. We'll be showing. We're we not going. Friend, ne- we we're not going friend. next week. Luckily, we have another friend at Disneyland Paris who has recorded all the the Paris right. stuff. Our good friend Aroni. So we will be seeing From uh, DLP licious. DLP licious. Anyway, back to Disneyland. Now we're at Disneyland Park. And now speaking of Disneyland Paris, this cavalcade utilizes the old Christmas parade music from Disneyland Paris. Christmas is here. I love love that that song. We both love that song. (laughs) So this is the Mickey and Friends cavalcade. And yes, the the song Christmas is here was from the parade that uh, that ended in 2018. You're going to sing a little of it? I am not going to sing any of it. (laughs) But if you look online... Disneyland Paris posted eight out last year, streamed eight hours. Uh, and here we are looking at Disneyland, but they did eight hours of Christmas music and it includes a really great uh, sound, version of Christmas I am just glad it still lives on at the original at Walt's Park mm-hmm. here at Disneyland. So it's I, I would love to see that. Next year we have to go to Disneyland also for, and, for Christmas. And that is similar to the Mickey and Friends cavalcade, but it's for the holiday season. Exactly, exactly. You know, and they, have, the they had a, a Halloween version also. And here we are. It's a Christmas fantasy parade this parade has been playing for many years out there since 1995 so 27 years i've seen it 27 years i think i think that would make it 27 years this year it's it's been here forever now this is how it's done these toy soldiers have their instruments and they're about to be you'll see them playing their uh horns there and you have the drums that kind of spin around i love this aspect and this is um, just uh, the Christmas uh, Christmas Fantasy Parade is the longest running holiday parade at Disneyland, and it has 16 floats. It's a very long parade. It takes a long time to kind of, you know, for it to go by, but it's a beautiful parade, and I love the music. Well, this this we're only kind of seeing our, our highlights, but even highlights, there's so many, and I love Mickey and Minnie in these outfits. They've been in those outfits in this parade for uh, quite some time, uh, many, many years, and over not, 10. Not only in the parade, but I think that was the outfits that they would meet and greet previously in as well but we're going to show their new outfits mm-hmm. a little bit later on in the show and there's chip and dale of course always getting into trouble on the on their snowy float there and i kind of miss them in in our parade here they used to be on the float throwing you know, snowballs throwing at snowballs. each other mm-hmm. and here we have the uh, the skaters i always like skiers them. Skier. oh yes well they're skiers on skates yes <laughs> so i guess we're both right <laughs> And it's the Winter Wonderland segment. And I love these snowmen. Well, of course, you, there is the Mickey and Minnie. But what you're about to see, these guys, they have so much character in them. Although I think this one needs the Wash's hat. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, during each segment, you have that book, those books, the mm-hmm. pages, you know, essentially open. Uh, so it's really fun kind of way to segment it do you remember a parade called the world according to goofy at disneyland i do not well it was it was all about the history of goofy and they that's what the first time i remember seeing those uh introduction those Mm -hmm. those, uh what are they called like um, the pages pages Uh, that that's the first time i saw it it probably happened before then but uh but that was my Mm -hmm. first i think that was back in the 20 no, the 35th, in the 20s. 30, 35th, in the 20s. It was the <laughs> no. 35th anniversary of Disneyland is when I, I think I saw that one. And we had the, the snowflake uh, skaters. And then we have Elsa and Anna on a float with with Olaf. Yeah, there uh, he is. I mean, you know, Elsa and Anna are real and Olaf's. And this float was actually um, utilized. They had a, a cavalcade with just this float uh, for a time uh, in the last few years mm-hmm. at Disneyland. But it's nice to see it here in the parade, of course. And, of course, I mean, it's hard to believe Frozen is, like, eight years old now. Eight years? It's probably think, older than I think, that. No, no, no. Only I think eight? it's 2014. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean again. only eight? I well, have, I don't know. I think it's 20. I thought it was 2014. I don't know. All I know is I have seen the Diva of Dairy once again two times for the price of one, Denise. It doesn't get much better than this. Maybe she'll cook us some chocolate chip cookies. I'm glad you're excited about it. <laughs> well, because I know how much you enjoy yes. Clarabelle. So, and then, of course, the gingerbread men who um, have been a longstanding favorite of mine in the various Disney parades. I love them. And they've, they've changed their look o- over the years. I know we keep talking mm-hmm. about Paris, but there's a Mickey one that's mm-hmm. in the Disneyland Paris there's parade. There's two. I think there are there, there oh, two Mickey's Mickey and or Minnie, Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie. And I, I, would I have love to look those. At it. Those are my favorite of the gingerbread uh, I, people. No, I love it. I, you know, I like that. 
And here we have uh, Goofy and Pluto on their uh, their house, and it gingerbread house. This reminds me a little of Disneyland Paris, also with the <laughs> Christmas is here. You know the parade where you had Pluto and that go and the dog you know, house. Next up time above. we're at Disneyland Paris, we'll have to say it reminds us of Disneyland. But it won't. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> and now we have the uh, the royalty here. We have princes and princesses here. All the the uh, princess characters. Well, you have. I mean, you have also some of the other performers. But yes, uh, Snow White. Uh, and and the prince, the prince here, yes. Um, so and then several other Cinderella and Naveen. Prince Charming, yes. So and Princess Tiana. And I see uh, in the background, I see Ariel and Prince Eric. This is always a, a big favorite. And uh, I miss them. Where are they? Oh, there you'll see them. They will be coming soon. Uh, for next, you have to see Belle and the Beast. And. Princess Aurora. Oh, yes. And Prince Philip. Prince Philip is right. And I think this particular float has been in other... It's not just in Christmas parades also. Well, I'm sure most of the floats probably are, are used quite are. a bit. I, I, told, I had not seen them yet, so... Um, well, it helps that yeah. I edited all of this. Well, that's why. You probably <laughs> didn't see them now. You were doing all that editing. But... Uh, and now, from what I remember... You have to get to the parade very early because, once again, this one is very popular. You can see many rows back. And something about Disneyland, if you're at the curb, you have to sit. You cannot stand at the curb. So that's something that's different at uh, Disneyland at Anaheim. And now we're looking at the Pixar segment here. Mm -hmm. And we have in our parade also, Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, you now have that the Jeep. Right. Also, so right. that was that's something different this year. And the Jeep has been here at Disneyland for a long time, mm -hmm. right? I mean, and I it used so. to go really fast. Remember, it would be speeding, then it would stop, and you'd hear the brakes. Oh yes, I remember. And this that is another fun one. Years ago, remember this one that where you see how they make the toys. It all the the sort of the mm -hmm. junk goes in, and very nice presents come out of the back there, and you see all the uh, the green army men on this float. It's been. I mean, we have not been here for the holidays at Disney at Disneyland in what. Four or five years 2019, ago? 2019, Oh, was it 2019? Three years ago. So it, it wasn't that long ago, but it's long enough. Mm -hmm. it's, and then... Oh, it's overdue. Right. And then I went back in March right. just before before everything Right. Closed. When our uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opened, right after right. that you went back. And that's why you saw Magic Happens, mm -hmm. and I didn't, I unfortunately. Love, I love Magic Happens, and I do recommend... Going well, to this no, don't, don't talk happens. about that yet because we're going to show a little magic happens. Remember at the end of I didn't, this. I didn't remember that. Uh, and we're almost done with the parade. We have the reindeer. And of course, Disneyland for the longest time had those Bill Justice, Justice reindeer. With a big with tongue. With a big tongue, which are fun. And they sell a popcorn bucket of that reindeer. They did sell. I'm sure it sold out mm -hmm. at uh, at Disneyland this year. And I would have loved that. I should have put our... Uh, our videographer to work for that. And I believe, don't they have a daytime? Do they have it in the evening too or Sometimes no? Sometimes it plays when it's dark. And yeah. maybe I'm thinking of Disneyland Paris because they, they do that like dusk and at night. And there he is. It's Santa Claus, the big Claus himself. Yes. <laughs> Santa always, you know, brings up a... Uh, Brings up the end of the parade, so... And did we already see Mrs. Claus, or is Mrs. Claus uh, taking a rest? Usually we would see Mrs. Claus. Maybe she was walking and uh, and we missed that. I don't know. You know, it's been a few years since I've seen it, so it's, it's not like seeing a brand new parade because I've seen this before, but... It's, you know, it's been a few years. Now, we mentioned the characters and their new outfits. Here's some B-roll footage of their brand new 2022 Christmas outfits this year. What it seems like is that uh, Disneyland is now having different outfits for Halloween and Christmas. And then they have merchandise. So maybe next year we'll have new outfits again. That would be very nice. And it's the, it's a small world holiday. We just saw it illuminated for the night. This is another one of our Favorite, at least one of my favorite elements at Disneyland. I love It's a Small World Holiday. Remember, no, I know we're going to do it again. We're going to talk about Disneyland Paris. But remember we went there and they kind of had a version of, uh, of It's a Small they World did. Holiday. They did. I mean, they, they ha it's not, a it wasn't not as, as elaborate. Right. But there was still quite a lot of decorations and such inside. And I guess they used to really do it. And this so, is the 25th yeah. year. I was going to mention that. And this is my friend uh, shot this footage. Here is a new one of the new dolls. And this one is a new doll in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So I there thought that's two, very nice. There, there are two uh, new dolls in wheelchairs to be... Uh, more inclusive right and he and he I think he did shoot the other one but I just I'm just showing the one for now but I love it again one of my favorites the music you always sing along 
you know, you mm-hmm. always have a, a, a affinity for this. He got good foot. I thought that was B roll. No, but that's, no, he shot no, it. that he wow. shot some great footage. And of course, Haunted Mansion Holiday. We already talked about that back in Halloween. And it's the Mandalorian. And look at this. The Mandalorian has a little uh, little surprise with him here. Yes. Grogu. <laughs> and this is at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. We do not have the Mandalorian and, and the child here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And I do not. I, I would really like to see them come here. You know, you never know. You never know. It is very possible. But I can tell you what. Look at how popular it is there. Can you imagine it here? It would be Bedlam. Well, you could do more of a meet and greet. You'd where ha- you you have, would have a, to. a special line or you could have like um, a fast pass where you meet him at a certain time. But Grogu is quite, line birdie. Quite a, yeah, no. Line birdie. <laughs> That's well, I don't line think birdie. they have that in the U.S., <laughs> no. line birdie. But uh, quite delightful. And now here is your chance to talk. About, oh, no, nope, nope, not no. quite yet. Not quite yet. We have the castle lighting. No, this is not a castle. A tree lighting. Tree lighting. <laughs> We're going to get to the castle lighting. That was the tree lighting. Uh, we're and, both a little tired. Yes, and we have snow on Main <laughs> Street, and then you're going to see the castle that, light up. And that is, that is that not is a correct. Christmas tree. That's yeah, a castle. And it, and it still has ice on the castle. I'm missing our castle ice, so I hopefully would, we'll get that back next year. The dream lights, it, and we don't know. I hope so. I hope they're coming back. Well, I mean, we, they've been gone for we'll two to, years. If not, we with, are definitely going to Disneyland because I need to see some castle or ice. Di- and Disneyland Paris. So, okay, I was building it up before. Now is your chance to talk about Magic Happens. You have seen it. I have not seen it in person. I saw it, it looks, several it times. It looks like a great... Yeah, you saw it day and night, right? Yes, and it's beautiful at night. And I hope they'll do it both day and night again. The parade is fantastic. It ran for about two like two weeks. And I <laughs> went out for a Bowers Museum event. And uh, it just happened that the Magic Happens parade was going on. And um, when I left Disneyland, there was only like three days before it ended up shutting down. It was sad because all of the cast members, you could tell the performers just were loving being in this in this parade. Well, it looks uh, it looks amazing. And it I, is. I, I look forward lots to seeing it. Lots of great characters. Lots of, you know, the, the music is terrific. It's it just really good parade. So as you can see, we're at Disney Springs. We're about to go to paddlefish and have a nice lunch there and you could see us there we are in the reflection i didn't even notice that when i shot it but beautiful beautiful inside beautiful views and uh, and here's a look at the menu i was looking forward to trying something special i wanted to try a whole main lobster something you can't really find on disney property and ha- very much i had to push you to do it we um we were invited by paddlefish and we got we had gotten a, a credit for a certain amount of money, and the lobster was over probably over half of that. But I said you should do it. I'll get a burger um, because well, it's unique. It's something you can't really find anymore. Not on Walt Disney World property. I don't think there's any place. I, I looked online. Sometimes a lobster tail, yes, but not a whole right. main lobster. And it's reasonably uh, reasonably priced for compared to other right. Restaurants. We checked. We did check yeah. other restaurants in other states, and that's that's the going rate. Well, now. in in here as well, it used to be you could get one at one restaurant we used to go to for like seventeen bucks, but no more. <laughs> no, not anymore. That was a long time ago. So I just had a blue moon, and you had a L- little cocktail there. Yeah, a uh, Lily Steamboat Breeze, which I thought was you know very. It was a very nice, uh, not overdone cocktail you know what i mean not too alcohol no i didn't think i didn't think so and of course what we always like to do is split a caesar salad and this was you can't tell but this was a big portion a very Mm -hmm. big portion and quite good i enjoyed it yeah uh so and the croutons i thought were pretty i think those croutons were pretty big so and they gave us a little plate so we were able to split and that's what we again that's what Mm -hmm. we usually do Beautiful view, by the way. If you can get a view, or get a, a seat by the window, or even outside. Right now, it's beautiful outside. I mean, uh, there's some great views from the paddlefish. And and it's better if you want to sit outside to request it ahead of time because we requested it, but it was already kind of sold out outside. But this, what a what a great background for this uh, giant lobster here. That and the lobster was everything I was hoping for. It was delicious, really amazing lobster, and it came with corn on the cob and the uh, potatoes. And you, I think you ha- were able to try some of the corn and the potatoes too. Uh, I definitely tried the potatoes. I'm a big fan of of the new potatoes. And they, they, you know, they give you the whole bib and the cracker and everything. Mm-hmm. There was not much left of this guy when I was done. I mean, I really uh, took my time and uh, enjoyed that lobster. And I really, I wanted you to have a, you know, a special, uh, a special meal. I had a hamburger, so and and it's a good burger. Mm-hmm. I've had it before here. Um, 
and also the I believe they're house made chips. I like those. I did they're try good. some of those. Mm -hmm. And so it was a nice it was a nice meal. But I did, for my part, it was a really a special meal, something you would do yes. for maybe a birthday or a special mm -hmm. occasion. And this is uh, it's like a they, I think they called it a chocolate cookie sundae. Delicious. But it's really a chocolate chip cookie sundae. The ice cream is very good, and it reminds me of the ice cream, the Homer's ice cream that they have at the boathouse. I don't know what brand this is. Um, but it it's a very nice uh, it was a very nice ending to the meal. Yeah, I would I would recommend that. And mm -hmm. afterwards, we took a little walk. What's nice is you're able you to walk around. You need a big around. walk you after need, all well, that. Well, we did take a big walk, <laughs> yeah. but in this case, we just took a little walk around uh, around the boat. And we even went to the top. I don't think I'm going to quite. No, I think I'll show that a little bit. But uh, you're totally able to just go for a little walk after. Again, if it's a nice day like this, it's it you know you get some nice pictures. It's a beautiful view, a beautiful restaurant. Today is a little chilly for, I think, dining outside. Well, I mean, I would do it. We've dined outside much colder than yes, this. Yes, we've dined outside in the 30s, but for like a, you know, hour to uh, 90 minute right, meal for a outside sit down, like something this, like that, we with, with the breeze coming off of the water. And again, here is a look at the at the uh, wheelhouse on the top. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't tell, but that wheel is giant, bigger than life size wheel. It is huge. Is it? Yeah, it look, doesn't it look like it's it, just a small wheel, but no. in reality, it is huge. <laughs> It is very huge. So also, more in more recent times, we were there, and we were there for the holidays at Disney Springs, and we tried, we're, we're going to show you a little scavenger hunt we did. First, we're just looking at some uh, Christmas uh, shots. And the, I mean, this was last, I think, last week or so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we were here to do the Christmas tree tro uh, stroll and also go over to Chicken Guy, but here we are. This used to be a real topiary. It is no longer a real topiary right, in the right. last uh, couple of years, but I still enjoy going over there. And so we did the Christmas tree stroll and you get um, like a big brochure with coupons and then you and stickers and then you put the stickers on. It costs nothing to do it. And we saw the cocoa tree. Here is the Disney Cruise Line. Topiary. Yeah, this is not uh, really a tree, but it's no. uh, it, it is. Uh, I you know I'm showing a little video of it because I think they did a great job with uh, with this one, and it's you know it's very detailed. Mm -hmm. You have the slide, you have the lifeboats, even the lights. Uh, it, it, you can't tell, but it's even lit. So at night, it's all lit up. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. And I did find the like the way they did the map a little confusing when you open it up and you put mm -hmm. the stickers on the map. I felt it was. <laughs> it could have been a little more detailed, so you knew that you were putting it in the right you place. You never saw so many adults walking around confused, asking each other questions. Well, they uh, we had people ask us, you know, yeah, oh, do you know do where this tree is, or can well, not where only are we that, supposed but to be? Where, but you were tra you were trying to figure out the stickers well, with some, somebody because yeah, some, it looks like it's it's a different place than right. it is. But we figured it out. And, uh, and there's a lot of coupons on this uh, brochure as well. Yes, nice and, coupons. Yes, and it's gone uh, uh, till December 30th. I thought I thought really a nice set of coupons. And there is the haunted mansion tree, and we're about to see the prize. Once you find them all, it is a button. The yes, the uh, but I like the coupons. Yes, the even, coupons even if is I the don't use them, that was to me the best part. So believe it or not, that is another show. That's another show. And I did enjoy, like, if you are coming to Walt Disney World in the next couple of weeks, that Christmas tree stroll I thought was very fun. And the trees are, I think they get better every year. And did we mention free? Free, yes. And with coupons. Right, right. Can't beat that. <laughs> so anyway, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Yes, uh, check them out, especially if you plan to do some and, and not just especially, but there's there's a lot going on. Uh, not and not just Disney. You have uh, out in California, Nintendo Super Nintendo World is opening yes. at, uh, Holly, at Ho Universal, Universal Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember the date. Is it February, like February 17th or so? But uh, check that out. And there's a lot. There's a lot to do all around the Disney Universe. We have Epcot Festival of the Arts coming up here at. Here at Epcot. You know, before you know it, it's going to be time for the... Uh... Easter Parade. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go that far ahead. Is there, there's no Easter Parade. The Flower and Garden Festival. <laughs> Your favorite Epcot Festival is coming up. I know, just, just a few Before more months. you know it, know. We'll be, you'll be out there every week looking for topiary. Well, I'm going to start... favorite thing. Usually in February, February, I start looking for topiaries. So anyway, thanks again for listening. Have a great week. We'll see you all next week and happy holidays. Well, don't, it's not holidays. I'm just, Wait, it's still the holidays. I guess it is. Happy holidays um, and have a great week.